gonna miss you, babe. Oh, you're so sweet. Love you. I just got through checking my bag in. I guess this is pre check. Excuse me. Oh, that's pre check. Okay. Okay. All right. Love you. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. All right, so I have made it through security and now just waiting to board to go to Heathrow. But y'all come along with me to the terminal. I just made it into my hotel. I'm staying at the Hyatt Regency in Dusseldorf. My face broke out, yeah. Don't mind that, y'all. So let me show a hotel room tour real quick. So you first walk in, and in here is the loo. Then as you first walk in, you can see there is the sink, and over here is just a little area where you can get ready. I'm gonna be putting my makeup stuff there. And then you have the shower. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I wish I didn't have lash extensions because this is a waterfall shower. And then also right here is the bathtub. Really neat. Since you walk here, as you can see, there was the tub. So there's the closet, an espresso machine. We'll see if I like that water because y'all know I'm super picky. Okay. Nespresso pods. Ooh. Mini bar, which I may or may not use. And then a fridge, which is nice because I... Well, I'm going to sneeze. And... Here's the bedroom view of the Rhine River and the bed and these buttons here if I press that it controls the blinds you see oh it's going all the way down oh stop there we go so they have a little workstation TV what a cute little place to rest And then here is the view. Right over there you can see the Rhine Tower. Alright y'all, so I have just been relaxing for the past hour and I am just going to have to force myself to go out and explore because otherwise, you know, I'm going to waste getting to see such a beautiful place. So I am forcing myself to get out of here. St. Lambertus. Explore over in Altstadt, Altstadt, in Old Town. And Mike has been prepping me to have situational awareness the whole time. I'm bringing my little Dagny, which I love because it's so compact and I can have exactly what I need. Okay, so let's go.
else. So one of the tips that people gave me about coming to Germany is to try the beer. And in this area, there's something called like Alt beer. So I just stopped by this little brewery. I'm by myself. <laughs> but I'm drinking with y'all. Cheers. I was just um, listening to Charmaine, watching her a vlog, Charmaine Dublack. I've been watching her vlogs for like many, many years. So anyways, hey. <laughs> so it is now Monday morning, technically. It's like 1 a.m. here. And it is, what time is that back home? Oh, it's so hard for me to like do math right now. I'm like so tired. It is 6.15 back home. I got back from walking around Altstadt, Old Town. And immediately afterward, y'all, I was so exhausted. And I was trying really, really, really hard to stay up until at least 9 or 10, but I could not. Like, I got back, I showered, my hair is already dry, as you can see, it's been that long. And I just passed out. Like, I think I passed out, like, around 7.45. I got four hours of sleep, and I've been up for, like, an hour or so. I probably hadn't slept, like, a good sleep in about 24 hours. Packing my work bag for tomorrow. I got this new 360 spinner from Samsonite. Let me show you guys. Off of Amazon, and it fits underneath your seat. So if you're short like me, that'll be fine for a plane ride. And it's just a lot easier than me trying to like put things in the overhead compartment and just getting in and, in and out off the plane is much easier. I bought one from London a while ago. It was by It Luggage, but it didn't have the 360 spinner. And with me injuring my wrist, made it as easy on myself as possible, given that I'm doing it myself. You know, I don't have Mike with me this time. So it has these nifty things. So my work laptop. So. If you guys watched my last travel vlog coming back from the Netherlands, my flight got all screwy. So I ended up not having a change of clothes. So I learned my lesson <laughs> and I packed in here two pairs of clothes, one like travel outfit, underwear, a new bra. And then I also do have like a work outfit in here. Just a blouse and jeans, just in case for some reason, knock on wood, my luggage had gotten lost, which it didn't, thankfully. At least I would not be stranded without a work outfit. So I have one work outfit here. This is just my airline slippers. I have them on the plane um, because I like to take my shoes off and I have socks on, obviously, but I don't want to constantly have to put my shoes back on to go to the restroom and stuff, so. Um, I put it in this travel pouch, shoe pouch, so that it's not touching everything else since I walked around in them, you know? I got the worst blister from those dang Converse platform on one of my feet. So I have these now. I have my baby wipes. Wipe down the seat, the tray, whenever I'm on the plane. I had this pouch and it had like travel adapters and stuff of that nature has a place where you can plug in an external hard drive and then um, right here you just plug it in while you're walking around and it can charge your phone that's basically it get to bed so that i can wake up fresh ready to hit the ground running and get a lot of shit done this week here in germany y'all I'm exhausted <laughs> I think I fell asleep around almost four o'clock this morning got maybe three more hours of sleep but what can you do what can you do so I have got myself a nice big breakfast so I'm getting ready to get the day started get to the office and I'm not sure how much I'll be vlogging today because y'all know it's work related things but I will vlog where I can so anyways Let's start the day. Back from work 
It is about seven o'clock in the evening and y'all, ooh, let me tell you, jet lag had me so bad today, but I started getting like a second wind, of course, around three o'clock, <laughs> which is the time I would be waking up and getting going in the US, US time, if that makes any sense. So anywho, I thought I would share with y'all um, during this trip since I'm not really doing a whole lot outside of this. So I will show y'all my outfits of the week. So today what I'm wearing is a knit sweater jacket from Loft. I've shown this many, many times. This scarf that I have is from Sissy Boy. It's a Dutch brand. I got it while I was in the Netherlands. And I realized that I really like getting quality pieces that I'm gonna use over and over and over again. So this is such a great like basic piece and I'm so glad that I spent the money on this. The shell that I'm wearing is from Loft and the jeans are Topshop and these are my halogen Bergen booties. They are a staple of mine in my wardrobe and I love wearing them. They're so comfy. I think now I'm gonna go down to the kind of like dock area near my hotel and just look around, take some pictures before I order some dinner. So let's go ahead and do this. I just got in my comfy clothes. And I'm just gonna sit here and do a few things on my YouTube, get one of my videos, which I will link in the cards, started while I wait for my dinner. But this is my view, it is so peaceful. Oh, not bad, not a bad work trip, y'all. So here is what I got for dinner. It is not German, but that's fine. This is spaghetti bolognese. And then I also got a creme brulee for dessert. I'm so excited. I was gonna get the wiener schnitzel, but this was just calling my name. So let's see how it is. Ooh. just got off of work and I wanted to show you my quick outfit of the day. I'm actually gonna go and run out to Primark. I'm so excited. I have not been able to go to a Primark yet. So I'm gonna hurry up because I close at eight and it's 6.45 so I got to hurry. So anyways, this top I got from Target. It's the Who What Wear collection. Kind of like a structured sleeve, which I really like. These jeans are from Monkey. I got them in the Netherlands. And then I'm wearing my platform Converse's, which my blister has healed and these are actually pretty comfortable. You don't have a blister. Let's go shopping, so excited. doing some shopping over at Primark and I'm in this area that they call the Co in Dusseldorf and it's this shopping area that's lined by these beautiful beautiful trees such a cool ambiance the shops are only open until 8 o'clock during the weekday so you got to be really fast what you want to get but so beautiful here why did I open that and it's so, it's gonna be so loud. I will open that up after I'm done vlogging. So one thing that I've noticed about Europe, I think because they don't get as hot as we do in Texas, they have AC, but it's not like the greatest. However, they have such a nice like wind right now that you can open up like that window door thing. There's a, a glass on the outside, just lets in some air but it lets in this like fresh cool air and it feels really really good but as you heard there's music <laughs> outside on the restaurant patio area ordered dinner i don't know like my stomach hasn't been feeling the greatest last night i slept well i still felt jet lagged at about mm, 
pretty much the entire morning and I felt really horrible like around 1, 2 p.m. Oh, Mike's calling. All right, for dinner, I got myself a wiener schnitzel. Potatoes, comes with bread and a salad. I got myself another creme brulee because it was so good from yesterday. I'm so excited. So weird when <laughs> that picture's back there. Anyways, hey y'all. So I am back from work. Happy Wednesday. And I had the worst jet lag sleep last night. Well, not the worst, but second to the worst. Um, Cause Sunday I had a hard time sleeping, and then last night I had a, I had a ugh, last night I had a hard time sleeping as well. So I fell asleep at around 11, woke up at around 1:45. Then I couldn't fall back asleep until close to four o'clock. So y'all, <laughs> exhausted is an understatement. But I got a lot of great things done at work. Had a lot of really great discussions, all the other jazz. So I'm really happy with how the day went. I'm just really tired, but. I want to first go down and see if I can find like a little grocery store. It looks like there may be one down here off of the pier area. We'll see, but I just, I'll just take a little walk down there and check it out. Here is my outfit of the day. Since I was rushing this morning, since I was so tired, I was just rolled out of bed. It's sleeveless, which I like, and then it comes already lay flat collar. I love that. This I got from Primark. It was probably less than 10 euro. So I just had that tucked into these Topshop Jamie jeans. I'm wearing the same jacket, loft jacket, that I wore on Monday, but it's fine. As you can see, I'm about to head out, so I wanted just to throw on my Converse to walk around in, and I'm still wearing the same socks that I wear with these boots, but anyways. Um, don't mind that. Let me hide that part. How do I hide this? Okay. Ow. <laughs> I wore them originally with these boots from Halogen. Have some dinner. Probably do a little bit more work. Um, just while things are fresh in my mind. Watch some Modern Family. Wash my hair. Um, and then hopefully get a really good night's sleep. So I came down here and did not find <laughs> the store. But it's really nice just looking out on the harbor. Really pretty. Very industrial, which I like too. I would love to do that. <laughs> Will my known traveler number get transferred from my first reservation to my second reservation? All right, y'all. I am so, so, so excited. So Dusseldorf is like a couple hour, sorry, something in my eyeball. Dusseldorf is about two and something hour train ride away from Amsterdam and y'all know I visited some family that was out there during my last Netherlands trip so I'll link that here in the cards if you didn't see that vlog. My aunt told me that this is the last weekend for the, oh, I can't pronounce it, Kokenhof. <laughs> Went ahead and changed my flight to leave on Sunday from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. It's a direct flight back to DFW. They didn't have that flight back whenever I went to the Netherlands so I'm so excited that I don't have to go through Heathrow even though I love Heathrow it's such a pain to have to like switch terminals and stuff like that go through security again I'm getting a refund because of the fare difference so I'm so pumped about that and then I booked a train ticket for Friday night to take me from Dusseldorf to Amsterdam Central and it is a direct kind of train. I don't have to switch or do any transfers. So anyways, hopefully my aunt will be able to meet up with me on Saturday um, to go through the garden. But if not, then I still want to make sure I'm in the right area so that I can go. I am so pumped and it was like super last minute of a choice. You definitely don't want to miss out on the opportunities that life gives you. It's one more day being away from home. I mean y'all, this is like a dream. I, I've been wanting to go to that ever since I saw it. It just so happened that I'm in the right area at the right time. This is like literally the last weekend. So I'm so pumped. Right now I'm like still having some energy, but I know I'm probably gonna crash in a couple of hours. So I'm gonna hurry up, wash my hair, order some room service, call my mom, and do some work. Watch some Modern Family. Hola. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, young lady? I'm good. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to oh, the vlog. Hello. <laughs> oh, you are vlogging me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
So I just got back to the hotel. I'm done with work, but my boss and I are gonna go and have dinner together. So I just dropped my bag off here and I just wanted to show y'all my quick outfit of the day. This top I got from Primark. I love it. It is so like comfortable, it's oversized, and the fabric is just really, really nice. It's really light. It is really large, um, so I have it half tucked. Topshop Jamie jeans, halogen booties. Okay, here we go. the day. Um, it's been a really good week here in Dusseldorf taking a international train from Dusseldorf to Amsterdam to meet up with my aunt and she's going to take me to the Tulip Festival. Today's outfit is super casual. I wanted to be comfortable because I'll be taking a train for about two and a half hours. So I am wearing my platform Converse, my ASOS Farley mom jeans, this top I got from Amazon. It's by Daily Ritual and it's a really soft, boxy, just gray tee. And then on top of that, I was wearing my Poland Bear cardigan. Pack it away and just wear my ASOS Parka anorak. So um, yeah, that's today's outfit. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to be part of our subby fam because we would love to have you. Enjoy your journey and I'll talk to y'all in my next vlog.